Hi, Michael. So I was out with the new letter to its employees or partners as it called me this morning, uh, saying that it will be working with the Starbucks Black Partner Network and Black Starbucks leaders to make 250,000 shirts available to company operated partners in the U.S. and Canada who affirm support at this quote critical time in our history. Until the shirts arrive in stores, partners will now be able to wear their BLM pin or t shirt while on the job. A letter from leaders Roxanne Williams. Okay. Good morning, everyone. I am here at the Black Bucks Coffee House. The reason why I'm at the Black Bucks Coffee House is because, again, Starbucks has disrespected the community. Again, we support this business on a regular basis. A lot of us are employed by this company, but they don't care about our community. So I have decided to only support myself, the Black Bucks Coffee House. Let's see, let's zoom on in there. Black Bucks Coffee House is the coffee house you have at home. It's the coffee house that puts your money back into your pocket. Now, what I have figured out is that there are a couple of black owned coffee companies, or at least one, black and bold, which I will be supporting. I will support them and I will make my own coffee at home and I will keep my black dollars in my black pocketbook, my black coin purse, my black house. Remember, recycle black dollars. Remember, your money, your life. They turn coat when they realize that they have uh, angered us, frustrated us, and that we will stop supporting them because they don't support us. The best cup of coffee you can possibly make is at home. You ever heard of a coffee press? That's this thing right here. So I'm about to press some coffee. Boiling water. I wish this was smell-o-vision. Look at that. Look at that. I have never had a better cup of coffee other than a pressed cup of coffee. They've been fooling us with that drip and that brew. Go ahead, make yourself a nice cup of pressed coffee. Look at that. So, once again, and you can get a coffee press anywhere. TJ Maxx, Ross, Didi's, any of those places. Uh, also, William Sonoma and um, Sir La Table for us bougie chicks. Anyway, again, if Starbucks cannot continue to support us, they only support us when they get caught with their pants down. I'm so frustrated. Not to say that I haven't spent my black dollars in Starbucks, but at this point, I can no longer do it. And if you can, that's fine. But I say, once again, recycle your black dollars. Keep your black dollars in your black pocket. Support a black owned coffee company. I think it's black and bold. Make your own coffee at home. I got all the gadgets. I got the syrup. I got the coffee. I've got the Nutribullet because right now I'm about to have some keto coffee. I got the creamer, the syrups, the drips, the stirs. Yes, this is a for real at home coffee bar at home recycling of black dollars. Keep your black dollars in your black pocketbook, ladies. How much can we save? I mean, I know with COVID and all, people have been at home, so they've been making their coffee at home. But those of us who are out there in the workforce and supporting them, do they give a F about us? Don't think so. I mean, really. Those two young brothers who got arrested, what was it, last year, a year before, 
And then they had to have a uh, racial sensitivity training. But they're still not sensitive to our needs, to our community. People are getting killed out in the streets. People are being arrested for having coffee while black. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm frustrated. I'm tired. Okay, I'm picking back up. I didn't want you guys to hear a neutral bullet. But anyway, so again, in thinking about what's going on with Starbucks, why do we continue to support a company that doesn't support us regularly and continuously? Look at that. How much you think that cost me? Probably less than a buck. Once again, at home, Black Bucks Coffee. Does it get any better? I don't think so.